so i had given you a small assignment and i hope you were able to do it but if you were not able to do it that's completely fine so let us go and get started so first of all we'll go to the add uh, employee screen over here we have this uh, listener over here what we will do is we'll go on to the top somewhere here and i think i'll just go and create actually the birth spelling is not correct so we'll fix it later so i'll just call it late and the we will change notifier and i'll just call it as a employee change notifier over here and anything in the init state i will just go and i'll call it as a employee change notifier uh, which we can get it from i can call the i can call the context dot i think i'll make use of provider provider dot off and uh, here i pass the context right provider dot off and also i need to pass pass the type actually so the type will be of the employee change notifier and here i can pass in the actually the listen to the true but we don't want to listen it right so outside of the bill context you are not actually allowed to use it true right if the listen is true the letter value change will trigger a new state that build to the widget and the state that the change and dependencies for this stateful widget but the listen false is necessary to be able to call provider that off inside the init state or the create method of uh, provider like so so the listen of false is necessary to be able to call inside the uh, state that init function we are currently inside the state that init so i need to set as a listen as a false over here so that was the same thing that we had previously set up over here right so this way we are actually just try, trying to read the provider the context dot read is quite same right so this is actually context dot read but uh, we are collect, uh, calling provider dot off so i want to just show you a different way of doing it so uh, we have that just remember this is same as this one that we are actually calling so this is the same right over here so once we have this particular change notifier uh, set up so employee change notifier dot uh, i can add the listener and here i can actually add the particular function it, it calls the void function over here and i can actually pass in the sum function over here so i'll just call it as uh, i have a we have a ls provider uh, provider listener is it a provider listener that we have okay let's go down and uh, we have a provider listener so that is not already enough so we need to listen to the value changed right so we want to listen to the specific value change over here so that will be of underscore employee change notifier dot each uh, added right so if it is added then we are going to call this particular function so this is the one that we are going to call whenever the value changes if the if it is true uh, basically which means that uh, if this is true the, if the value of the uh, notifier that is added is set to true then we will show this right otherwise we will not show it so we have added a provider listener over here right so we have to do the same thing so just copy the whole thing and if you go to the uh, edit employee so we are still going to need this one too over here and uh, okay so i still need to get this one the late variable of the employee change notifier and i can just pass it below okay and i need to call the provider listener so currently do we have any provider listener okay so we don't have that provider listener so i'll just create a void provider 
so name is particularly up to you so the whatever name you want to provide but uh, I'm just creating as a provider listener so since that is a listener and I'll have to use the if condition to check over here again so if the underscore employee change dot each uh, each updated right so if it is updated then I'll call it as listen update right and otherwise let's say if uh, then I'll call the if the underscore that we have the employee change notifier dot is deleted that we have if it is true then we are going to show the listen delete function call that particular function I think that's all that we have to set up and other thing I think we are not looking into any changes so that should be fine and uh, let's go and i think run our application i think that should be the things that we are actually looking so let's go and rebuild our application and so let's me go and add a new one and that should be of a demo six demo six let me call it as a demo demo six or something yeah. why it is not actually typing so is it not typing something went wrong is it uh, let me try to rebuild the application something went wrong I'm not sure so test uh, let's see test 10 and uh, let me update the value something different over here so okay so it's still yeah it's coming up already so we have an employee updated and test 10 and if I go to over here, I think we have seen that test 10 is already added. So let's, that's good, right? So let's try to add why the ad is not working. Demo 1 and I think demo 6 that we are going to use it, right? So this should be of our demo, demo 6 and test and test 6 and the give some birth, date of birth and try to save this one yeah so we have the notification already added over here and just click on close this one and just went back and i think we are actually going to uh, delete something we haven't deleted it right so for this one i need to rebuild it and uh, then i think i need to go this one and actually call delete and then it deleted it I'm not sure okay so we just got that one delete employee close that one and if I go and yeah I think we got that deleted and our notification or uh, particularly the uh, listen update which was showing the material banner is working fine so this is how we are going to um, make use of the context that uh, read that we have and also this is similar this is the same as the context that read if you are a bit confused over here this is same right don't get confused over the context that read over here so if you go and read the documentation it's the same right so we are just calling the same so we have already lear learned about the context that uh, listen context that uh, read context that what and the final thing that we have to do over here is to we need to dispose this particular change notifier because currently we are continuously listening to it and providing the listener over here so we should dispose that one employee no change notifier dot dispose so make sure you call this one after this is uh, disposed then this change notifier or the employee change notifier is no longer usable this should be on dispose because we don't want to listen to it whenever our world, this particular ui get destroyed all right so um that's all let's uh, meet up in the next one till then uh, have a great day